In this video, we will utilize several different simulations in the TINA TI toolkit. We examine a single stage transistor amplifier for DC bias, time domain response, and frequency response. If you're not familiar with TINA TI's schematic capture procedure, please review the video covering introductory DC simulations for details. This amplifier is of the type found in Chapter 7 of the Semiconductor Devices OER textbook. A theoretical analysis of the circuit yields some of the values shown. First, we'll check the DC values by using the Table of DC Results simulation. By using the probe, we can verify various transistor voltages and currents quickly. The agreement between the theoretical and simulated results is good. Moving on, we investigate the AC signals using the transient analysis simulation. We'll set this to see two cycles of the waveform, or two milliseconds. At the output, we see an inverted wave of approximately two volts peak. This is predicted. A close look at the waveform shows a slight asymmetry in the peaks. This is caused by the nonlinearity of the transistor. To check the THD level, select the output wave and then select Fourier series from the process menu. The default values for the analysis will be sufficient. Select Calculate. The results list the first 16 harmonics with their amplitude and phase. The second harmonic is particularly large. It accounts for most of the asymmetry. The combination results in a total harmonic distortion of just under 0.6%. Not exactly hi-fi, but good enough for general purpose work. We can also perform a more traditional AC analysis by using the Table of AC Results simulation. Of particular importance, we see that the output voltage is just under 2 volts. The phase shift of negative 178 degrees is nearly a perfect inversion. Other AC voltages and currents may be highlighted using the probe. At this point, we can check the frequency response. Select AC transfer characteristic from the AC analysis menu. Set the frequency range to 10 Hz to 10 MHz. Select the Amplitude and Phase box to generate the Bode plot. We can use the cursors to verify that the gain is about 26 decibels at the midband. We can also determine the 3 dB down points that define the bandwidth.
Further, we can verify that the midband phase shift is about negative 180 degrees. Finally, we can produce a bill of materials from the file menu. This lists all the components of the circuit. And there you have it, a complete analysis using several of Tina TI's simulation tools. Thanks for watching.